What's up, YouTube? Today is a really special day, as you can see. I'm standing in front of my new set of wheels. I'm really excited for this. I've been waiting for a long time, and it's been hard decisions to pick which type of wheel I wanted and what color, what size, and what tires I'm going to run. So, I finally made up my mind, and I got these, sold my old pair. And basically, this is an unboxing video. So, I hope you guys are ready for this. As you can see, the 949 Racing wheels. But I don't know if everybody's going to like this color. I think it's going to look really good on the car. It's going to be something really different. So, I hope you guys are ready for this. This is special to me. So, y'all can see already the color where it is. And these 949 racing, man, I think they're a really nice design. I like the color, I like the finish. They weigh nothing, literally, they weigh nothing. Like, this is crazy to me because I've always had replica wheels or fake wheels. So these are like really nice. This is like really nice, man. I can't say how, can't stop saying that. And on top of that, I'm gonna be running some really good tires. I got some Nato Gens, All Seasons, 205s, 5015. I'm pretty sure that's the number. Pick these up on Jegs Racing. And for everything, to be honest, I got a really good deal. I mean, I bought them separately, but still, really cheap prices online. So I think I saved some money. And right now, we're going to head out to a friend who works at a mounting shop, I guess. The tire shop. He's going to mount the tires, put the valve stems, put these on the car. And yeah. Today's a really good day. I managed to get everything in the car. Wheels, tires, got one wheel in the trunk. So, on my way to there. Take off the wheels, guys. Can't really record, but I'll try to update you guys. First. First wheel on. This is gonna look really good, man. So came back from the shop, and the whip back wheel was touching right here. You can see where. And I just have to take it off real quick, just for right now. I have skunk two um camber kits, so I'm pretty sure those will clear. And if they don't, then I'm I'm pretty much just gonna grind it. But you can see where where it was hitting. And temporarily, I'm just gonna put this space in here. This is just temporary. But I have that the skunk two camber kit and something else that I can't say right now. Because I'm gonna make a, make a video about it. So, yeah. But the car looks really good, man. It looks really good. Here's the final look. It cleared out with, with the spaces in the back. I'm out of breath right now, but I'm kind of in a rush. So, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and everything. Oh, car looks great. I'm really happy. Yeah. Thanks for watching.
after the, the small spacer right there and it cleared the camera arm really can't see it but it cleared the car looks great I love how the car looks looks really good yeah I love this new setup looking really good thank you for watching like subscribe comment you know have any questions let us know stay tuned for more videos what's up guys back at it again with another youtube video today i'll be installing my new but used skunk 2 camera kits um currently i have the stock ones so yeah i'm chilling run the last camber and on top of that i'm also trying to lower the car a little bit more i'm not sure how much but maybe i'm gonna go back to that riding height right there i don't know if you guys see that this line right there but yeah i'm gonna do one side first make sure of all the tools tools i need and then i'll record the other side make a little time lapse so yeah okay so i'm trying to adjust as best as possible here at home I'm still gonna take some limit. So, if I measure from here to here, you can see it almost has eight, um, seven and a half inches. And then if I measure from this side to here, it's almost seven and a half inches too. So, I just use this vice kit to pinch them both down, you know, so they can be as flush as possible. And then I got this screw to come through this one. And well, oh, it actually doesn't go through this one too, but you can see from this side, it has seven and a half inches. If I put it to the other side, it should be seven and a half inches as well. Yes, it is. So, now I'm going to put the rough nuts where they're supposed to go. And then I'll just put it back in the car. 